Good morning, I'm Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class or commentary on the Bible. Now, we've been looking at Matthew chapter 5, the Sermon on the Mount, which is the principles of the kingdom. If you ever want to find out what God's view is concerning what uh, different areas of life, this is where you find it. Let's open our time with a word of prayer. Father, once again, we thank you today for the word of God. And we pray that over the next few moments, as we spend time together, that Lord, your mighty blessing would rest upon your word. We ask it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, in the last time that we were together, we talked about the Beatitudes, which were, of course, these wonderful things. Uh, thoughts, blessed are you. Now today we're going to talk about salt and light. Now listen to what Jesus says. He says, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown and trampled down by men. So Jesus starts off, he says, listen, you are the preservative." You are the flavoring of the world. When you know Jesus Christ, basically you have everything inside of you to influence your world. You are actually a flavoring of God in your world today. You are bringing into people's lives and situations the flavor and the seasoning of God. You know, I'm not much of a cook, but my wife is a wonderful cook, and uh, she adds certain flavors to our, her different meals, and it just brings out the the uh, the beauty and and the wonderfulness of the food. We are in that same way. Our lives are seasonings. But also, did you hear I use the word preservative? Back in the old times, they use salt as a preservative. Have you ever heard of salt beef? That is something that is uh, very well known among our um, brothers and sisters in Newfoundland. They say, would you like to have some salt beef, me boy? And basically what they've done is it's that it, it they put the salt into the beef, and it just changes the flavor so beautifully. He says, you are salt. But if we lose our saltiness, if somehow we allow the things of this world to come into our lives, then basically we produce nothing of real value. Listen to what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, 1 and 2. He says, if you don't love the way that God wants you to love, first of all, you produce nothing of real value. Secondly, you receive nothing of real value. And then he goes on to say, if you don't love the way that God wants you to love and release that love into people's life, you are of no real value. Can you imagine going through your entire life and not having any value? Well, that's what we're talking about here. Then Jesus uses another illustration where he says, he says, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be Head. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to all those in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may uh, see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. So basically, he says, You are a light in the world. Now, I, I love how one person puts it. They said that we are like the moon, we reflect the sun. You and I reflect the sun. God has given us a light. John Wesley said, hey, I want to be a wick. I want to be a candle. I want to be a light in my world. And that's what we need to be. He says, people don't take a light and then put it under a bowl. He says they put it on a lamp. Now, I, I love this illustration because Jesus said a light on a hill cannot be hid. When I was in Israel back in 1986, uh, one evening, I went out for prayer on the Sea of Galilee, and I looked at all the hills around. You have to understand, the Sea of Galilee is 900 feet below sea level, and on the uh, on the north side is the uh, is the uh, Galilean hills. On the uh, I believe it's the east side is the Golan Heights, and on the of course on the west side is the uh, is, is more of the Galilean hills. Well, I saw all those beautiful lights 
as I was down in Tiberias that night, and I was seeing them all around on the hills around me, and I got the illustration about that we are to be the light of the world. We are called to give a light. We have a light inside of us. It's called the Holy Spirit. It's called the light of God. We are lighting the way in people's lives and situation. He says, by our good deeds. Now, that's an important thing. You see, out of the growth of our faith is good deeds. I love how James puts it. He says, you say you have faith? Wonderful. He says, I'll show you my faith by what I do. So faith plus works demonstrates that we have something that is real. It's easy to say some to someone, hey, I love Jesus, but you got to show your love for Jesus in practical ways. And he said, when you do this, this is Jesus talking, he says, what you're doing is you are praising your Father in heaven because you are showing through your light and you're showing through your, your flavoring and your lifestyle that you love the Lord. You know, one person put it this way, it's easy to talk the talk, but it's much more difficult to walk the walk. What Jesus is saying, have some practical illustrations in your life. Show it by what you do, not so much how you talk, but what you do. That is how people will believe you. <laughs> One person put it this way, you want to show success by what you do, not by what you say you're going to do. There's a lot of folks who start off really well. They say, hey, I'm going to be there. But then when push comes to shove, they're not there. What God wants us to do is to show it in our life and in the way that we live. So today, I encourage you to be salt, to be a flavoring and as well a preservative. Secondly, let your light shine before men. Don't put it under a bushel. Don't you know, put it up on a stand where people can see it, show it through your good deeds, and that way God will be glorified. There's an old song that we used to sing, in my life, Lord, be glorified. Let that be your aim and goal today. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class or the commentary in the Bible. Either way, you have yourself a great and godly day. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the law and the fulfillment of it found in Matthew chapter 5. God bless you.